Now, let's have our tea break banger. This is the point of the day where you say to yourself, I want to hear a song. I want him to play it for me and I want to tell him why. Which is exactly why I want to say good morning to you, Wendy. How are you? Good morning. I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm great. I'm delighted that you're coming on to talk with us and tell us exactly where you are this morning. I'm in um, lovely, cold, grey Liverpool, Liverpool at the moment. Yes, this is the this is another county in Ireland, really, Liverpool, and we <laughs> love Liverpudlians. And my mum's nearly eighty. When she was my age, around fifty-two, I think she went a bit loop de loop. She had a bit of a middle age crisis, yeah. and she got a tattoo on her ankle of two love hearts. She got a tattoo on her shoulder and she got a nose pierce. I haven't gone down that route though. I like them, but I wouldn't have them done. So your yeah. your, your mother's completely rock and roll and you're like oh, a yeah. conservative prudish daughter who has to kind of say, oh, not again, mom, another tattoo. Are you sure yeah. you want to do that? Yeah, oh no, she went. She went. She went a bit loopy. She went. She went travelling all around San Francisco, Hawaii, New York. Come back with these tattoos, nose pierced. Yeah, the lot. You kinda, name I, it, I she kinda, did it. I kind of love her. I mean, that's yeah. that's pretty pretty funky thing to do. But a good honour. Yeah, and they all thought I'd be the rebel of the family, and I've turned out to be quite the conservative <laughs> one, really. Yeah. What do you love to do? Just, what makes you happy? Um, well, funny enough, it's actually reading, reading oh. and writing. I'm a frustrated novelist. They say everyone's got a book in them, so I'm just waiting for mine to come out. Who do you like to read yeah. generally? Because obviously, if you're, you're well, I, all sorts really. Yeah. I read. I mean, I don't really. I can't get into thrillers and things. I know you like that sort of That's genre. Okay. No, I've tried, I've all, tried all that, and I can't like. That's at the you. moment, I've been given a collection of Claire Keegan. Oh right, right. Um, well, yeah, they're brilliant. Obviously, um, they're like novellas because they're so short, and her writing is just amazing. She, it's just, you know, like you were saying earlier, like you put your fingers in your ears and that you go off to La La Land, like into your own little world. Yeah. She just conjures up her own her own world, and you're just right there. They're, they're brilliant. They really are brilliant. You know the book that she wrote called Foster about the, the little yeah. girl who gets fostered by a family. It is. It's about. It must be about nearly something like 80 pages short with big words and large gaps between them. And yet I put that book down at the end of it and felt profoundly moved. Really? That's and that I've, I've actually got that one by my bedside table. That's my next one to oh, read. Oh, really, you're in for a treat. I want to read your book, though. When are, you, are, you, are you? Have you started it? Are you midway through? Or what's... I have I have been writing since I was about nine years oh, old. Oh, good Everyone woman, Wendy. Saying, Everyone keeps saying you've got a novel in your book. It just hasn't come out. I wouldn't know what to, I know what to write about, but I can't get it on paper. So they say you should write what you know. So I'm trying to write about certain things that I know about. Do you know what? I yeah. I, I would say I had to write a 2,000 word article this week and I was kind of dreading it because I, I, I don't have the patience for these things. But I just carved out the time. I said, I'm going to, in that hour or two over there, I'm going to make the time. And I put the kettle on, Wendy. I got some biscuits. Yeah. I made a big cup mug of tea and I was by the window in the flat I'm living in and I lifted the laptop thing and I said, we're going here. And I, I was talking <laughs> to myself and, and the pair of us, me and my intrusive thoughts got together and we said, let's do this. And you know what? In one sitting, I lashed it out. And I'm not saying that as a flex uh, or, or an arrogant boast or anything. I'm just saying that if I can do it, and that was just for, for a newspaper article, you can definitely do it because you've been writing since you were nine. So what I'm trying to say is, <laughs> Carve a bit of time out for yourself. Don't get tattoos and piercings just yet. That's That should be your celebration <laughs> after you've written the book. But I think you've got it in. You seem like a really lovely person. I bet you're going to write a really charming story and a really oh, beautiful story. You. And I can't wait yeah. to read it. So please write it and then come back to us and say, do you remember you told me to? I did it.